Nehemiah chapter 10. Those who sealed it were Nehemiah the governor, the son of Hekeliah, Zedekiah, Sariah, Azariah, Jeremiah, Peshur, Amariah, Malachiah, Hadash, Shabaniah, Malak, Haram, Merimoth, Obadiah, Daniel, Ginnathon, Baruch, Meshalom, Abijah, Majaman, Meziah, Bugay, and Shemaiah. These were the priests, the Levites, Jeshua, son of Azaniah, Benuai, of the sons of Hanadad, Cadmiel, and their associates, Shebania, Hodiah, Kalita, Peleiah, Hanan, Micah, Rehob, Hashabiah, Zechur, Sherebiah, Shebania, Hodiah, Bani, and Benainu, the leaders of the people, Parash, Pathath, Moab, Elam, Zetu, Bani, Bani, Asged, Bidiah, Adajah, Bigvai, Adin, Eder, Hezekiah, Azer, Hodiah, Hashem, Bezai, Merf, Anathoth, Nebai, Magpaish, Meshalom, Hezer, Meshazabel, Zadok, Jedua, Pelatiah, Hanan, Aniah, Hosea, Hananan, Hashab, Halohesh, Pila, Shobek, Reham, Hashabanan, Masiah, Aiah, Hanan, Anan, Malak, Haram, and Baina. The rest of the people, priests, Levites, gatekeepers, singers, temple servants, and all who separated themselves from the neighboring peoples for the sake of the law of God, together with their wives and all their sons and daughters who are able to understand. All these now join their brothers, the nobles, and bind themselves with a curse and an oath to follow the law of God given through Moses, the servant of God, and to obey carefully all the commands, regulations, and decrees of the Lord our God. We promise not to give our daughters in marriage to the peoples around us, or take their daughters for our sons. When the neighboring peoples bring merchandise or grain to sell on the Sabbath, we will not buy from them on the Sabbath or on any holy day. Every seventh year we will forego working the land and will cancel all debts. We assume the responsibility for carrying out the commands to give a third of a shekel each year for the service of the house of our God, for the bread set out on the table, for the regular grain offering and burnt offerings, for the offerings on the Sabbaths, new moon festivals and appointed feasts, for the holy offerings, for sin offerings, to make atonement for Israel, and for all the duties of the house of our God. We, the priests, the Levites, and the people have cast lots to determine when each of our families is to bring to the house of our God at set times each year a contribution of wood to burn on the altar of the Lord our God as it is written in the law. We also assume responsibility for bringing to the house of the Lord each year the first fruits of our crop and of every fruit tree. As it is also written in the law, we will bring the firstborn of our sons and of our cattle, of our herds, and of our flocks to the house of our God, to the priests ministering there. Moreover, we will bring to the storerooms of the house of our God, to the priests, the first of our ground meal, of our grain offerings, of the fruit of all our trees, and of our new wine and oil. And we will bring a tithe of our crops to the Levites, for it is the Levites who collect the tithes in all the towns where we work. A priest descended from Aaron is to accompany the Levites when they receive the tithes, and the Levites are to bring a tenth of the tithes up to the house of our God. 
to the store rooms of the treasury. The people of Israel, including the Levites, are to bring their contributions of grain, new wine, and oil to the storerooms where the articles for the sanctuary are kept and where the ministering priests, the gatekeepers, and the singers stay. We will not neglect the house of our God.